Yo, what's going on guys? It's J Mass and I'm back again with another dope adventure. Now, notice how I didn't say a dope New England adventure, you know, my usual saying. Well, that's because we are not in New England today. We're actually back in upstate New York. And it's been a while since I filmed here in upstate New York on this channel. The last time I did was all the way back in April 2023 when I actually visited the abandoned Rochester subway. But today we're actually in a different New York metro area. This time we're in the Syracuse, New York metro area. And specifically, I am southeast of Syracuse. I'm actually in a little hamlet right now called Jamesville, New York. And we're going to be checking out a really interesting abandoned site here in Jamesville. And you can actually already see it behind me, but we have a monolithic cement plant to explore today. Now, this property dates back like over a hundred years, you know, this place has been used for quarrying, mining, uh, production of cement. But in 1917, the Alpha Portland Cement Company first purchased this land. And in 1952, they actually um, constructed the cement plant you're seeing behind me. A couple years later, in 1959, they added some more cement silos. You can see actually some of those silos right over there. And the Alpha Portland Cement Company manufactured cement here for many more decades up until 1981 when it officially closed down due to poor financial and economic reasons. So this place was pretty renowned for producing cement and that's even been, that's even been a thing before the Alpha Portland Cement Company even took hold here. This area is very notable for being a quarrying area cement production, but today we're specifically gonna be checking out the ruins of the Alpha Portland Cement Company with huge structures like this. Now there's many on this property. I don't know how much we're gonna to get to today, but I'm gonna try and see as much as I can while I'm here in beautiful Jamesville, New York. So join me as we check out this really interesting abandoned spot. I believe this is actually my second exploration in upstate New York, so I'm excited for that. But as always guys, if you love urban exploration, checking out abandoned sites and exploring New England and beyond, well, feel free to subscribe to the channel or you can follow me on Instagram at jmassofficial. That's at jmassofficial. But we're going to get right into it and check out this 1952 abandoned Alpha Portland Cement Company cement factory. Let's check it out. All right, guys, let's get exploring and check out the abandoned Alpha Portland Cement Company cement factory. So as you saw from behind me in that introduction, this is the main plant right here. You've got a bunch of massive cement silos. You can actually see this thing is made out of cement and it's completely in ruins, completely devastated. You can see there's graffiti all the way up top there. So this thing has been abandoned for many decades. It was officially in 1981 when this plant was abandoned. But there are a couple more things on the property. As you can see right here, we got some more silos. If I'm not mistaken, these are the ones that were built in 1959. I think this was built in 1952 and this was built in 1959, although I could be incorrect on that. Um, so if I'm incorrect, let me know. But essentially this plant was purchased in 1917 by the Alpha Portland Cement Company. And it was in 1952 when they first began construction on this premises we're on right now, this plant. But I think we're gonna actually start over here on this huge storage area right here. It looks like this is where they kept a lot of materials and debris. I assume this is where they actually kept a lot of the powder that they used for production. But man, this thing is huge. You know, it's really been quite a while since I visited an industrial plant like this. In fact, I think I've only explored it once on this channel. It was the uh, abandoned um, the abandoned sand and gravel crusher in Hookset, New Hampshire. That was the last time I visited an abandoned industrial plant like this, and that was all the way back in 2022. So it's been well over a year since I've explored something of this caliber. Wow, and you can actually see something over there, huge smokestack. This place is huge. Very cool though. So obviously I'm not gonna be climbing up these hills. I mean, I don't even know what material this is, but you have a lot of uh, mounds of some material up here. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's asphalt or rock, but whatever it was, it was probably used in some cement making process or maybe some sort of other material. But the structure here is huge. Look at this. Yeah, this is probably just for storage. Very cool though. I don't want to touch this, but I'm very interested what this is. Hmm. Interesting. All right, let's keep looking around. So one thing I just want to briefly direct your attention to that you'll notice is uh, this railroad link right here. Check this out. 
you got some railroad tracks going right down the middle of the cement plant. Now, obviously, way back in the day, they used to use, well, they still do, I shouldn't say used to, but it was more predominant using trains as the main means of transporting um, industrial materials and production. So what I assume happened back in the day was when they produced uh, cement here, they would actually distribute it onto trains coming directly down this line, I assume bringing it to different parts in upstate New York and uh, beyond. So just wanted to direct your attention to that pretty cool piece of industrial equipment right here. Trains were extremely important in factories and plants like this. You got this railroad track going right down the middle, also right nearby the material. So I assume they would also unload materials like powders and other things off the train into this section right here. I actually wonder if we should go down there first or check this place out. And this place is wicked tall. Look at that. It's almost like a skyscraper. You know what? I think we'll go over here first. Let, let's check this back end out. Then we'll come back around here and check these spots out. That's what I'm most excited for, though. All right, let's head in here and see what's going on. Looks like we can actually get into this little room right here. Although, I still believe this is the storage building. So, it might just be random materials and debris. But I will say there's a lot of graffiti here. Supposedly, this is a pretty famous spot here in the Syracuse area. A lot of Syracuse urban explorers come here to look around. Which is kind of cool. Let me just adjust my flashlight. All right. Yeah, you can see graffiti absolutely everywhere. Oh, shit. There's a hole in the ground that goes to some massive tanker down there. This is cool, though. The other thing that's interesting about this plant is, obviously, this is a cement plant. They produced cement here for supposedly construction, you know, architecture. But this entire plant is also made out of cement. So I have to believe that they used their own cement to construct this plant. I feel like that makes sense. Oh, this place is huge. A lot bigger over here than I expected. It's funny because when you're coming into this location, it actually doesn't, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a big spot. The silos are tall, but it doesn't look like a big property. But then when I come around here, this place is huge. Yeah, look at that, there's like so much more stuff down there. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, let's go down here. I'm really interested to see this spot right over here. This place looks a lot bigger than I expected. Plus there's like way more silos over there. I believe the silos are what they actually stored the cement in. Yeah, you can see right over there. But look at this. Tons of massive machinery and equipment down there, like this thing. Crazy stuff. Another big tank right there. Again, not sure what that was. You know, just, just to be blunt, I don't know what most of the stuff here is going to be. I know nothing about the cement production or the cement industry. So if you're somehow familiar with the cement industry and you see some really interesting equipment or machinery, I'm just glossing over please let me know in the comments what I'm looking at because I don't know anything about it. Very cool, though. Yeah, that, that was a dope spot. Let's uh, head back over. We'll check out that really tall silo we walked by and then head inside, see what's going on there. Oops, almost skipped the basement. My bad. Yeah, let's just take a look down here really quick. I don't want to skip that. I want to see as much as I can while I'm here because... You know, I'm from New England. I don't live in the Syracuse area. I rarely ever go to the Syracuse area. Probably never going to come back here. So definitely want to check it out while I'm here. Wow, a lot bigger than I expected down here. So down here kind of looks like it was probably some sort of utility area. Oh, here, here's a freight elevator right here. This is where they would bring freight up and down the different levels. And this is actually that hole that we almost fell in right there. See that? Huge metal tanker right here. I don't even know what this was used for. Probably water heating, if I had to guess. But yeah, this is probably the uh, utility basement right here. They probably had, you know, power supply, water heating, all that kind of stuff. Pipes. 
What is this? Let's walk up here. Oh, I thought that was like a big pit. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I'm seeing a lot of piping and tanks and stuff down here. So this was definitely utility. 100%. But it's huge, massive. I feel like that's my main takeaway coming here. This is a massive place. Well, as I walk around, I'll just give you guys a little bit more of the history, uh, just to freshen your memory. So as I mentioned, the Alpha Portland Cement Company bought this land in 1917, but it had been under production for uh, cement manufacturing prior to that. And it was in 1952 when they constructed this plant that we're in right now, adding more silos in 1959. And for many years, they persisted as a cement production plant until 1981, when they officially closed down. I think it was because the um, cement industry was going through major economic turmoil. Basically, it was because of financial reasons. And it's been basically abandoned ever since. Wow, look at that. It's just huge. For some reason, this weirdly reminds me of Union Pond Mill in Connecticut. Another place that I've been to and filmed. I don't know why, I just cannot shake the feeling. That's what it reminds me of. <laughs> yeah, interesting stuff, though. This is really cool. You, you could actually climb up there, it looks like. That ladder. Okay, I think last what we'll do is kind of head into this little section. Though I don't think there's going to be much, but I still want to see as much as I can. Yeah, not too much in here. Just a little underground basement area. Just probably still a continuation of the utility section we've been seeing, although there's a bit of water dripping right here. You know, luckily as I film this though, it is early February, and as a result, it is freezing cold out, and all of the water is frozen. So the, wa the I should say the surface I'm walking on right now, I feel like would normally be really soft and squishy and muddy. But because it's so cold out, it's actually hard and flat. So one of the benefits of exploring in cold-ass February, you don't have to deal with mud and water and stuff. Yeah, that was cool. All right, let's keep on going and check out that other section. All right, guys, so I think we're going to head into these silos now and just kind of peek around, see what's going on. Again, these silos are super tall, almost reminding me of some sort of skyscraper tower. I mean, they're really tall. And then that's the building we were just inside, the huge storage building, which kept materials and debris and production equipment, supposedly. <laughs> See another huge pile of debris right here. This is probably actually cement. But look at this. Oh, yeah. Thank God it's February, as I said, because I feel like this stuff would be so soft and malleable normally. Right now it's kind of hard and packed. Yeah, so from what I understand, these silos were basically used to... Oh, Jesus. Oh, shit. Did I catch it on camera? Look at that, guys. That looks like a hard surface. I walk on it. Poof. My feet go right under. Jesus Christ. Holy shit. <laughs> I don't know if I actually filmed myself doing that. So, yeah, we're not going to go any further. Um, but as I was saying, these silos were used to store cement and cement powder. That's what these silos were used for. And clearly, as you could see, I just stepped in it. That was stupid. Top 10 stupid JMass moments. <laughs> okay, let's try over here. Maybe this section isn't as bad. But man, that was crazy. Look at my boots now. Jesus. I'm going to have to rinse these off later. All right, so we got another little section here. Okay, this one looks better. No cement here. Yeah, let's let's go in this way. I should have just done that. <laughs> oh, my God. There's still a lot of cement debris, though, left behind. Hmm. So another thing I kind of want to mention while we're in here, because it kind of ties everything together. One thing that this cement plant is pretty well known for is not a good thing. So after this closed in 1981, obviously all of the employees and workers who were here got laid off, had to find new jobs. But later down the road, a lot of these workers who worked at the Alpha Portland Cement Company actually started getting a lot of health issues. And the main one was mesothelioma. And if you don't know what mesothelioma is, I'm sure you've probably seen those ads. 
But basically, mesothelioma is caused by breathing in asbestos. That's because the Alpha Portland Cement Company's cement plant utilized a lot of asbestos-laced products. So the workers who actually worked here a long time, again, this is like over many years, were breathing in tons of asbestos into their lungs and contracted mesothelioma. And when you look up this place online and you know, look into its history, you know, what this cement plant was known for, the main thing you're gonna find are the cases of workers getting mesothelioma from working here. And it's honestly really sad to think about. Like, yeah, on one hand, it is true that, you know, way back in the 1900s, we didn't fully understand what asbestos was capable of. Uh, most people thought asbestos was like a wonder product. But no, unfortunately, asbestos is really fucking dangerous and hazardous to humans, and the workers who worked here were breathing it in. So it's pretty sad to think about what happened to these workers. Um, I don't actually know if they were ever compensated or anything like that, so hopefully they were at the minimum compensated. But it's pretty tragic to think about. Okay, guys, I'm going to keep going up these stairs. I wonder if these go all the way to the top of the silo. You can see right here. So if they do, I will meet you at the top. Okay, so I don't think these silos go to the very top. Uh, there is a ladder that goes up, as you can see right here, but it doesn't actually go to the top of the silo itself. But that's fine because I do know the other plant does. On the other plant, we should actually be able to get on the roof, which is something I'm really excited for. But we're just gonna look around the very top of these silos, or the top floor, I should say. And first thing you'll notice are these huge pieces of machinery, which I assume held cement powder. I, I don't know what cement is actually made out of. I assume it's sand and gravel and other stuff like that, water. But whatever it held, it probably filtered it down there below. That's where we saw the pile earlier that I fucking stepped in. <laughs> um, I believe that, that those machines filtered them out. There's another ladder right there. You know, I should say, normally when I go exploring in places like this, I honestly don't wear a mask, which is really stupid. I should. Um, yeah, that's my Urbexing PSA for today. Wear a mask when you go exploring. I'm not doing it right now, and I seriously regret it because this place is caked in cement and concrete dust everywhere. And as I mentioned, a lot of the former employees and workers of this factory contracted mesothelioma. Sorry, I got distracted by something. So, very concerning walking around this place unmasked. You know what I mean? Eh, you know, it happens. <laughs> Pretty cool. So, yeah, this is the top floor, and this is the bottom floor down here. Interesting. Yeah, this was uh, one of the cement factory silos. But let's go to the main building, the one I was most excited to explore. I'll meet you guys down there. All right, are you guys ready for the main event? This right here is what I was most excited for when coming here. This is the primary cement plant here in the Alpha Portland Cement Company's property. Now, I believe this was the OG one built all the way back in 1952. And this is also the biggest building on the property. You got a couple silos right here, looks like six total. Then you got this huge building right here. I don't know what this building really was, probably just more storage, but look at this thing, huge. And uh, clearly, as you guys saw, there was graffiti all the way at the top. So I believe there must be a way to get up there. I've seen pictures and videos of people up there. So that would be really cool if we could get up there. I'm sure there'd be some really sick views. I wonder if we could see the Syracuse skyline from up there. I don't know. But yeah, look at this place. And then that's the building we were just in right over there. That's the first one we were in. And that's the one we were just in, those huge, sti those huge silos. And I think we'll do this one last, that smokestack section over there. I think that's the last thing we'll do. But I do want to go here next, see what's going on. So let's peer inside. I think we'll head in this way. Although there's a lot of brush and rubble. I don't know if we can safely get in. Let's try that. Luckily, my shoes have started to uh, <laughs> clean off of it. That was crazy. I hope I got that video. That was wild. My feet like went oof, like right into the cement. It was deep. It felt like quicksand. Oh, look at this, guys. 
We're inside the main building right now. So this right here is the main building on the cement factory's property, huge. A lot of graffiti in here as well. I think this building has the most graffiti of anywhere. That's weird, this is like a one story building, a one room building. That's strange. I thought it would actually be like multiple levels here. Another piece of machinery right there. Yeah, as I said at the beginning of the video, there's gonna be a lot of machinery and equipment, and I'm probably not gonna know what any of it is. <laughs> so if you guys know, please educate me in the comments. I always appreciate that. Huge place, geez. So I think what we're gonna do is head in this building, which hopefully has a way up to the top of those silos. But I'm gonna keep digging around and see what we can find. I'm really excited to check this place out some more. All right, guys, we're back inside. This time we're in another section of this huge cement plant. Uh, this is over here. It was actually the section we were just in a second ago. But I just came in here. I really want to find the staircase up to the top level, though. That's what I'm really interested in. I'm a really big fan of just beautiful views, skyline views. I love that stuff. So I'm really hoping we get lucky and find it. I mean, seeing all the graffiti at the top makes me hopeful. Yeah, check this out. Some more material right here, rubble and debris. So this was probably another storage section. They probably had, um, you know, materials to produce cement right here. Some sort of destroyed spiral staircase. Jeez, this thing is ripped. That sucks. It looks like you actually at one point could have gone up to the top, but then they dismantled it. I almost wonder if that was the way up to the top and then to prevent people from going up to the top. I wonder if they dismantled the staircase. I hope that's not the case, but I have a bad feeling. This was the way to get to the top until they dismantled it. I hope not, that wouldn't be good. But let's head down here first, this little basement section. <clears throat> See what's going on. So we got another, what looks to be utility basement where they probably had the power supply and piping and all that kind of stuff. Another huge machine right here. Well, shouldn't say another, multiple huge machines. Look at these. A lot of industrial equipment. This place is crazy. And everything, absolutely everything in this plant is caked in cement and concrete powder. See that? This is everywhere. <laughs> cement and concrete powder. I've probably breathed in so much of it, like, I'm telling you, 50 years from now, I'm gonna need that compensation for mesothelioma from all the abandoned spots that I visited. And this one is really no different. Jesus. Uh, let's see if I can go over this. Uh... Oh, what is this? This is weird. So there's obviously ice in here, frozen water, but looks like there was some sort of spiral machine. Almost looks like some sort of tunnel bore, although I know it's not strange. Sorry if the flashlight is kind of disorienting. I'm just trying to be careful as I maneuver my way around here. Strange stuff. I think we're in the silos now. Yeah, this is definitely the silos. So just like the original one we were in, we are back in the cement silos right now, but different ones this time. And as a result, I'm gonna be very careful because look at this. Oh, this one's hard. That's so weird. So why was the first pile I stepped in soft? So fucking weird. What is that? General electric light bulbs. That's one thing that's kind of a shame. Didn't seem like there's a lot of documents and records here. You guys know I always go on and on about how much I love finding artifacts like documents and records in abandoned spots. I really do. I just kind of like finding time capsules of when these places were open. They're, it's just fun. God, this place is huge. As I said, there were six total cement silos. So that means there's six of these huge cylinders that we have to walk through. Crazy. What is this? Some sort of weird machine here. Oh, you know what this was? I'm so stupid. This was where they probably manufactured the cement because you can see down there, this was probably what they had water in. They probably put water in here, cement powder, 
And then this whole assembly line type thing probably moved sludge, cement sludge, down this line right here to produce cement. This is probably one of the ways they actually produced cement was in this machine, if I had to guess. Again, don't take my word as gospel, not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure this is actually where they produced cement. Because cement, as you know, is a very wet sludge. Well, interesting if that's the case. All right, guys, I'm gonna head back to where we started. I, I don't have a good feeling that we're gonna get to the very top. It looks like they actually destroyed the staircase that let you get to the top. So if that's the case, that's a shame, but I'm gonna keep looking around. If I see anything new in this area, I will absolutely film it. And I'll catch you guys in a few. All right, guys, very sad. So unless I'm missing something, I couldn't find any stairs or ladders leading up to the top floor which means we're most likely not gonna get to the top of those silos. Very sad. Um, it looks like the only way to get up was that spiral staircase, but it's completely destroyed. And I think that was intentional. I think that was to prevent people from going to the top, which I mean, understandable, it's very dangerous up there. I'm not gonna act like it's not, you know, that would just be stupid, but still kind of sad. That was actually what I was looking forward to most, but it's all good. We still got to see a lot. And I did just wanna show you guys up close the, the uh, cement silos right here. Actually, this right here is where we would have gone. So this is, these are some of the top floors right here of that building. If we had been able to go up the uh, spiral staircase, we would have ended up here in these rooms. And then from there, we would have been able to go to the top of these silos, which is what I was most hyped for. But again, all good. It happens. And I understand. We still got to see a decent amount here. Oh, you can actually here inside the silo right here. This is where we just were earlier. But this is some little like rut in the ground right here. Looks like they blasted rock and then built these silos right here. Very strange. I'm not sure what the purpose of this was, but yeah, I did just want to show you guys these silos from the ground level here. Kind of cool, but again, what a shame. We can't get in. Would have been so cool to get up there. It is what it is. So I just wanna show you guys one more quick thing. So this is the back side of the silos right here. And you can see there are six silos over here, but there's also six silos at the front where we just were. So six plus six is 12. There are 12 total cement silos right here in this plant, way bigger than I expected. But I mean, as I was walking through, I guess I kind of noticed that it seemed like way more than six. But the other thing I wanted to show you was, look at that. <laughs> So I believe at one point you could have climbed up this ladder because this ladder leads all the way to the top of the silos up there. But sadly, that is not the case. And I think I know why. I remember when I was researching this location, it seemed like there were a lot of cases of urbexers and teenagers getting injured here. And I assume a lot of those injuries were, you know, from being up there, probably people falling and shit like that. So it was probably safer for the town to remove the ladder, but still, what a shame. I really want to go in there. Oh, well. Okay, guys, so we're going to head over to the last portion of the Alpha Portland Cement Company. It's actually that smokestack section we saw earlier. That seems to be the smallest part, so I don't know what will really be over there, but we're going to head over, check it out, and then I think that's really going to be it for this place, but this was dope. The Alpha Portland Cement Company here in Jamesville, New York, right outside of Syracuse. Really cool. Hey guys, so as we make our way over to the last portion of this abandoned cement factory, I just want to go over another interesting fact. So obviously we're right now in the hamlet of Jamesville, New York. And while the cement plant closed in 1981, it appears that a new quarry actually opened up in 1992, just a couple years later. It's known as the Jamesville Quarry, and it's still active today. And actually, when you're driving into Jamesville, New York from Syracuse, you'll see these massive um, pieces of quarry equipment like cranes and conveyor belts and silos. So Jamesville, New York very much still has a um, dedicated mining and quarrying industry here. I believe the cement industry is all but gone. I believe that this was the last remnants of the cement industry here in Jamesville, but there is still a quarry, the Jamesville Quarry in use. I believe it's an aggregate miner that makes um, similar products to cement. I think they make like concrete. I think they mine like sand and gravel and limestone, that kind of stuff. So 
I think it's still in the realm of cement manufacturing. So I just want to bring that up because Jamesville, New York is still a pretty um, important town for making um, construction materials, just like the Alpha Portland Cement Company once was. All right, guys, check this out. This is the last part we're gonna be checking out today here at the cement plant. Got that huge smokestack right over there. A couple more silos, although those silos are a lot smaller. But I still believe that this was doing manufacturing, just like this section right over here. But I think we're just gonna peer inside these buildings and see what's going on. Although this definitely is the smallest section that we're gonna be checking out today. So we got a little room right there. Doesn't seem like there's too much going on. This I believe was probably just some sort of storage shed because this is a very small building. And then the place with the smokestack is actually detached from this, it's a lot bigger. So I believe this right here was just some sort of storage shed, not 100% sure on that, but it's completely detached from this one. That's kind of creepy, look at that. You got eyes staring right at me. You know, I will say about the graffiti at this place, unfortunately I haven't noticed any major standout graffiti here. I feel like uh, whenever I go to a band's spots, I always see, actually that's pretty cool right there, but you know, I've most of the graffiti I've seen has been pretty uh, lackluster. Got some cool stuff here, more of those eyes. Huh. Some weird demonic llama thing, or giraffe, I don't even know what that is. All right, let's peer in here. So we're inside this little building right here. Just looks like it's one giant empty room. Again, not 100% sure what this specific building was. Might have been utility, because I do see a lot of uh, fuel boxes around here. So maybe it was a utility room. Not sure. Oh, that's pretty dope, look at that. I stand corrected, there is some pretty dope graffiti here. I feel like it can be hit or miss whenever you go to abandoned spots. You either find really cool graffiti or just whack shit that 13 year olds probably scribbled on out of boredom. <laughs> All right, let's go over to this section right here. See what's going on here. Got another small detached building. I wonder if we can peer inside this one and then head into this big one right here. Okay, cool, we can. So let's look inside here and then after that, we'll head into the big one. What is this? Oh, it just looks like it's a tipped over filing cabinet of some sort, some sort of cabinet. Looks like it was just tipped over. Other than that, yeah, not too much going on here. Another small little shed type thing. Hmm. All right, let's head in here. This is gonna be our very last building of the day. And then I think we're gonna call it quits, but let's check it out. This is kind of cool, guys. Check this out. This right here is the smokestack, the very tall chimney. And it actually looks like we can go inside it. I don't think we're really going to be able to walk around. It looks like it's filled with debris, but I've always wanted to peer inside one of these little chimneys. We have tons of them where I'm from in Massachusetts. Oh, you actually can go in. Oh, shit. This is cool. Wow. Look at this, guys. That's so cool. We're inside of a brick smokestack. Wow. I've never been inside one of these. I've always wanted to. Yeah, we, again, we have so many of them in the area in Massachusetts where I'm from. So it's cool to be inside one of these things. <laughs> Interesting. I didn't know we'd be able to go in there. All right, let's keep on looking. Gotta get through all this vegetation. So I think this section over here might've been some sort of uh, huge machinery. Look at that. Yeah, this definitely reminds me of the uh, sand and gravel crusher in Hooks at New Hampshire that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Very similar to that. I think we'll go over here first and then we'll do the bigger of the two buildings second. I wonder if this one we can get to the top too. Because we couldn't get to the top of the uh, actual cement manufacturing spot. Maybe we can get to the top of this one. Jeez, tons of sheet metal. Looks like some sort of power supply room. A lot of fuel boxes, wires and stuff. Oh, tons of wires, geez. Um, that's not really good cable management, guys. <laughs> All right, let's peek in here. 
Doesn't look like there's too much on this side. Yeah, this is just the other section. Hmm. Not too much in this little room. I thought I would see like a staircase or a ladder leading up, but I guess not. Yeah, nothing. Strange. But look at this. This thing really does tower over you when you're walking here. It looks small from a distance. Like it looks like the smallest building, but when you're behind it, it's fucking massive. Although the silos are definitely smaller. These are the smallest cement silos right over there. So I guess we'll head over there next. We'll just walk over this sheet metal one more time. Update on my boots, by the way. They've definitely dried off and cleaned off. So not as bad now. But uh, I parked nearby a little river, a stream. So I think when I get back to my car at the end of the day, I'm gonna literally just step into the stream and let it just naturally wash my shoes. I think that's the way to go. Crazy. Let's go in here. Let's peek into this little room, see what we got going on. Oh, this is a big spot. I think what I'll do is I'll cut off this clip, um, explore in a second, and then uh, I think we'll pretty much end it in this area right here. All right, guys, we're back inside. Let's see what's going on in here. A lot of leftover equipment right here. Not sure what this is. Actually, a lot of rooms in here, which is kind of surprising. Didn't think there would be this much. I guess we'll start over here. Start with the first one. Oh, another hallway. It's a hallway here and a hallway here. And then there's a lot of offshoot rooms, which I assume are mostly empty, save for some random machinery like this. Yeah, another sort of hallway. Though I will say this place definitely looks to be in the worst condition of all the things I've explored today. I almost want to say there was a fire here, though I'm not 100% sure on this, but look at all this stuff. I mean, this is clearly paint chipping away, but it kind of looks like it's uh, covered in ash. Like, I wonder if there was a fire here. Again, I don't 100% know. I didn't see any reference of there ever being a fire at the cement factory, but maybe there was, because this looks like it sustained a lot of uh, fire damage. But I don't know, it could just be black paint chipping away. Who knows? It's very strange, though. Oh, this is an interesting spot. Very cool. Yeah, I've, I've known about this place for a couple months now, and I've been really curious about checking it out. As I said, you know, it's been a while since I've uh, filmed an abandoned location up here in upstate New York. And I got to say, New York, you guys have a lot of really cool urban exploration spots. Being from New England, you know, we got a lot too. New England is one of the most dense and rich regions for urban exploration. But... Low-key, New York might be right on its level. New York does have a lot, in upstate New York especially. So I'm really interested, over time, checking out a lot more abandoned spots throughout the state of New York. There's a lot to see here, and a lot high on my wish list. <laughs> but I'm glad I got to check this one right outside of the city of Syracuse. Uh, pretty cool. Yeah, I think that's about it on this ground level. I'm going to see if there's a way to get up top, but... <laughs> We haven't had good luck with getting onto upper levels today. I feel like all of that was premeditated. I'm pretty sure they just don't want people going up top. Again, understandable. It's dangerous. It's a hazard. I'm sure most of the people coming here are teenagers, so you also have that to deal with. So, yeah, I get it, but still a shame. I would have loved to get to the top and just see what the view was like. Oh, well. All right, guys, so I looked around a bit more and I just could not find any way to get to the top levels here. Um, I believe all the staircases and ladders are either destroyed or they're just non-existent because I only saw one single ladder. And again, it was ruined. So no way to get up top, but it's all good. I just want to show you this view from the back. Looks really cool over here. And those rooms we were just in, like all those hallways, it was actually in there, those um, cylindrical silos so we were actually in the silos yet again although those ones were a lot different from the ones right over there but that was pretty cool this was the alpha portland cement company here in the small hamlet of jamesdale new york one of the most interesting abandoned spots i've ever explored and i think that about does it for today 
Hey, thank you guys for joining me. I've been Jay Mass as always, and this has been another dope adventure, this time here in upstate New York. So yeah, we just checked out the uh, Alpha Portland Cement Company here in the hamlet of Jamesville, New York, just southeast of Syracuse. And that was a really cool exploration. This is a spot I've wanted to check out for a couple months now, and I'm glad I finally got to come in person and see this site for myself. So just as I mentioned, you know, a little recap, uh, the Alpha Portland Cement Company purchased this property in 1917, although it had been a cement manufacturing uh, site before that. It was in 1952 when they actually constructed this very specific plant you're seeing behind me. And then 1959, they added a couple more silos. I believe these ones are the ones they added, though I'm not 100% sure on that. And it operated many years until 1981 when the cement plant closed down officially. And it's been closed ever since, although sadly, as I mentioned, a lot of the workers and employees who uh, previously worked at the cement plant have had a lot of um, health issues uh, like mesothelioma because of all the asbestos and cement properties they've been breathing into their lungs for so long. So it's kind of sad to think about what happened to the employees and workers here, but nonetheless, really cool place, really interesting history, and I'm glad I got to take you guys with me. So if you guys love seeing uh, urban exploration, checking out abandoned sites, and exploring upstate New York, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I'm always doing that. Or you can follow me on Instagram, at jmassofficial. That's at jmassofficial. And I'm looking forward to doing more New York explorations in the future. I believe this is my third one. Um, I definitely have more coming up in the future. I really love New York and I love exploring all the abandoned sites New York State has to offer. But I'll catch you guys in the next one. It's been a lot of fun exploring the cement factory and I'm gonna go wash off my boots. Catch you later.